Work is being carried out on a shipwreck in the Thames estuary, which contains unexploded bombs to make it safer. The SS Richard Montgomery sank in 1944, but it still has 1,400 tonnes of explosives on board. Its masts are going to be cut back, so they're less likely to fall onto and detonate the cargo below. The site has become an unlikely tourist destination. Here's our correspondent, Tom Edwards. In the middle of the Thames estuary, a sunken relic of World War II. Jutting out of the waves, these are the masts of the SS Richard Montgomery. What's left of the cargo ship has become an unlikely tourist attraction. To get there, we took a tourist boat from South End Pier. Soon, the masts will be removed, so people are coming to see them while they can. It can be a bit choppy. We're taking this opportunity before they remove the masks, masks, uh, just to just to see it. It's a bit of a piece of history. My friend here said it's going to be gone soon, so let's take this opportunity to go and see it, and come today when it's lovely weather and a nice boat ride. <laughs> the wreck is in an exclusion zone, although it's not far from the main shipping lane. It also has a potentially dangerous cargo of explosives on board. If they detonated, it would cause a huge explosion, and experts say perhaps a tidal wave. The SS Montgomery sunk in 1944, and there are still 1,400 tonnes of explosives on board. The DFT says this site is safe, but it is deteriorating. Now they want to cut these masts so they don't fall into the unexploded munitions below to try and make this whole site much safer. These scans of the ship show the state it's in. It has broken in half and some of the deck is collapsing. Scans are carried out every year. Experts now say it should be dealt with, but little is known about the state of the explosives. Definitely concerned about it. I think over the last 77 years, the government has thought to itself, well, the longer we leave it, the safer it gets. And it appears, if you talk to experts on explosives, that that is the opposite of the truth. This tour operator has seen an increase in people wanting to see the mass before they get removed. They've been told it'll happen in June. It'd be a shame to see them go, but obviously everything out here that's being subjected to the winds and waves, it gets to a point where they, they're going to collapse, they're going to end up on the riverbed. The government says the wreck is in a relatively stable condition. This unlikely tourist attraction hasn't got long left, although the potentially dangerous cargo will still be on board on the bed of the estuary. Tom Edwards, BBC London.